If you've got a CSV you want in Airtable, there are two ways to do it. Upload it once manually, or import it from a URL and keep it updated automatically. I'll show you both. First, if the CSV is on your computer, click the table name, choose Import Data, then CSV File. Click Browse File, then select your local file. Click Upload One File. You'll see a preview of the imported CSV. Check the CSV fields are correctly mapped to the fields in Airtable. If the CSV has a header row, click Other Settings, then Exclude First Row and Import. Finally, click Import. Airtable will import the local CSV file into your table. The second option is when the CSV lives at a URL, for example, a report or export that updates over time. For this, we'll use the Data Fetcher extension. Open the Extensions panel and add Data Fetcher from the Airtable Marketplace. Data Fetcher is a free Airtable extension which lets you import data from CSVs, JSON APIs, and more. Sign up for a free Data Fetcher account. Click Create Your First Request. For Application, choose Custom. That's what you use for generic URLs. Next, paste in the CSV URL. Give the request a name and choose which output table and view the data should go into. Click Save and Run to fetch the CSV. You'll see a preview of the data, then you can map each CSV column to an Airtable field. You can map to existing fields or create new ones, and choose the right field type for each column. If your data has a unique field, open the left sidebar Advanced Settings. Select the unique field as the update based on field. Data Fetcher will use this field to merge the imported data with any existing records. We can scroll to the right to see all of the CSV fields and click individual field names to toggle whether they are imported or not. Once you're happy with the field mapping, click Save and Run. Data Fetcher will create any new fields in the output table, then import the CSV file to Airtable from the URL. Once the data is importing correctly, you can set this up to run automatically. Scroll to Schedule and click Authorize. This lets Data Fetcher access your Airtable base automatically when the request runs in the background. I recommend selecting Add All Resources here. It avoids permission issues later if you add more bases. You can now choose how often the import should run. Click Save, and that's it. From now on, Data Fetcher will automatically re import the CSV on your chosen schedule and keep your Airtable data up to date. Thanks for watching, and you can subscribe for more Airtable tutorials.